ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Gabby Concepcion, the At attorney not the artista. That's true. At ako naman po si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sunayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya naman, samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Unang-una si Jane. Jane is a business administration student of UP Diliman. Her hobbies are watching K-dramas, vlogs, and solving the Rubik's Cube. Micah is also a business administration student in UP Diliman. If there's one thing she can talk about the whole day, it would be about the K-pop group BTS. Brian is a computer science student also of UP Diliman. His hobbies are watching anime, playing chess, and reading webtoons. He also listens to the K-pop artists IU and TWICE. Last but not least, Joseph is a civil engineering student of UP Diliman. His MBTI is INTJ. He likes to watch movies and surf the internet. Tatanungin natin yan mamaya. Correct. Okay, so these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And we have the multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus, who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Get ready to buzz in, but wait for us to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. Let's begin. Question number one. What color of the rainbow has the same name as a citrus fruit? Joseph. Orange. Orange is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. In chemistry, sodium chloride is the chemical name of which common mineral and seasoning? Joseph. Salt. Salt is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. With a population of more than 12 million, Mumbai is the most populous city in what country? Brian. India. India is correct. K-check. Question number four. What continent shares a 55 million square kilometer landmass with Asia? Brian. Europe. Europe is correct. K-check. Question number five. Which Filipino-American singer recorded the 2023 hit singles Get Him Back and Bad Idea Right? Micah. Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Marlin and Nemo are what type of fish in Finding Nemo? Joseph. Clownfish. Clownfish is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What fruit is the ingredient that makes Hawaiian pizza unique? Maika. Pineapple. Pineapple is correct. Okay, check. Gusto niyo ba yun? Pizza ng ipin niya? Ba. Malaking debate yan eh. In the phonetic alphabet, alpha stands for the letter A. What letter stands for the letter C? Joseph. Gamma. Gamma. C. Okay. Gamma is mali. Brian. Charlie. Charlie is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Which large bird of prey was named the national bird of the Philippines in 1995? Joseph. Philippine eagle. Philippine eagle or monkey eating eagle is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. In mathematics, what number is two thirds of seventy-five? Brian. Twenty-five. Twenty-five is male. The correct answer is 50. Next question, number 11. 
This animated cat and mouse pair first appeared in 1940. In 2021, they had their full-length movie. Right. Tom and Jerry. Let me continue. What is the name of this animated cartoon series? The correct answer is Tom and Jerry. K check. Last question for this round. Number 12. What language are the words kindergarten, pretzel, and quartz taken from? Micah. European. European is Malay. Anyone can steal. Joseph. French. French is Malay. Right. English. English is Malay. Jane. German. German is correct. K check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. After that initial round, we have a tie with Joseph and Brian in the lead, followed by Mika in the second place, followed by Jane with 10 points. Kilalani natin ang ating yes. mga contestants, Jane. Therapeutic pa para sa iyo ang pagsasolve ng Rubik's Cube puzzle. Ano ang fastest solving time mo? Um, siguro po, uh, mga less than a minute uh, for solving a Rubik's Cube. Nakakahiya naman, one minute. Wow. One minute. <laughs> Kasi di ba may style yun na parang sa taas sa, sa gilid, taas sa, sa gilid. Tama ba? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Tama. Okay. Maraming salamat, Jane. Papaturo kami sa'yo. Ito naman si Mika. 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 So we cannot give you the whole day no, to explain. Pero tell us why you like BTS in 30 seconds only or less. Well, I love BTS because they were my comfort people, especially last 2016 where I really had a rough time. And then during the pandemic, my love for them grew. And then until now, they're going to the military. So I don't know how to alio myself again. But yeah, just what we watch run BTS episodes. Thank you again for our very interesting contestants and our conversations with them. Pagandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Tuloy pa rin po ang ating karunungan check. Points rika po na tayo. Leading si na Bryl and Joseph with 40 points each. Nasinundan ni Mika with 20 points. At si Jane naman ay may 10 points. Siyempre, it's never too late. Pero sa ngayon pa lang tayo na itong dalawang contestant natin. At isa nga sa kanila, si Bryl, mahilig magbasa ng webtoon. May particular artist ka bang sinusubaybayan? And why the fascination for webtoon? Favorite artist ko ngayon si ano po si An Anfins. Tapos uh, fascinated po ako sa webtoons kasi po um, maganda din yung story and both story and art ng webtoon. Ngayon naman ito namang MBTI or yung tinatawag natin na Myers Briggs Type Indicator. So si Joseph, ikaw na mag-explain sa kanila ng results mo. Basically which is INTJ. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Parang abbreviation lang siya sa ano, also known as the architect lang po. So essentially lang po yung mga architect people na may personality po nito is parang more on rational more rather than emotional. Pero um, yun lang naman din po yung basic essence. Ang ironic kasi di architect pero civil engineering yung part ko. <laughs> Taliwas ko lang. Ako naman ENTJ. Ano ba yung ENTJ? Emotional. <laughs> okay. Yan, mamaya silipin natin yung mga results natin. So, Now it's time for round number two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one, contestants. What continent did native peoples call Inca, Aymara, Quechua call home? Brian. North America. The answer is wrong. Sa baba lamang ng North America, the correct answer is South America. Question number two. What viral disease that has a type of bird in its name is caused by the varicella zoster virus? Brian. 
The correct answer is chicken pox. Question number three in science. Different from precision, what term refers to the closeness of a measurement to a true or accepted value? Joseph. Accuracy. Accuracy is the correct answer. Kate check. In astronomy, what animal is associated with the constellation Cancer? Joseph. Crab. Crab is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number five. What bay is surrounded by Bataan, Pampanga, Bulacan, Cavite, and the National Capital Region, Mika? Laguna Bay. The answer is wrong. Joseph, Manila. parang galit na galit sa buzzer. Manila Bay. Manila Bay is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number six. Last November 2023, 41 construction workers in Utarkashi, 400 kilometers north of New Delhi, were rescued after 17 days underground. In what country did this rescue mission happen? Joseph. India. India is the correct answer. Okay, check. Oh, ang ating ibang mga contestants. Wake up na, wake up. Kidding. Question number seven in Greek mythology. Which daughter of Cronus and Rhea is the goddess of marriage as well as the queen of the gods? Joseph. Hera. Hera is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. What Japanese poem consists of 17 syllables? Haiku. If you answer without being properly acknowledged, you will not consider your answer. Jane. Haiku. Haiku is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. This port in France was the scene of the evacuation of Allied troops after the fall of France in 1940. What is this port whose name is the title of a 2017 film starring singer Harry Styles? Joseph. Warsaw. The answer is not correct. Three others can steal. Braille. Dublin. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is Dunkirk. Question number 10. Which large country is the top Middle Eastern nation that produces oil? Only about 9 million barrels a day. Mika. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the correct answer. K check. Coming now to question 11. Ilagan City is the capital of which northern province? Mika. Isabella. Isabella is the correct answer. Kate Are you from the north, Mika? That's why. I'm bilis ni Mika. Last question for round two. What animals are raised in a hippodrome? I'm sorry, but the buzzer was ahead of you. Animals that are raised in a hippodrome, horses. And that's it for our second round. Okay, recap tayo ng mga scores natin. Joseph is leading with 120 points, followed by Mika with 50 points, then Jane with 30 points, at si Brian naman merong 20 points. Masyadong nasa lead si Joseph. Oh, yeah. But it's not over until we finish with our last and final round. So, hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil meron pang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Joseph is leading with 120 points, followed by Mika with 50 points, Jane with 30 points, and Brian with 20 points. Pero, meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So, hindi pa natin alam kung sino ang posibleng winner natin. 
So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan sa round na ito. Dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! Question number one will come from Prof. Marian. Start with something easy, okay, not math muna. What does a manometer measure? A, temperature. B, length. C, pressure. D, volume. Or E, time. Nakaka-pressure ba? <laughs> Ang tamang sagot ay C, pressure. Next question. Usapang kabayanihan. Sino ang bayaning nagmula sa Pampanga na pinaslang ng mga Hapones noong 1942 sa probinsya ng Lanao dahil ayaw niya makipagtulungan sa bagong mananakop? A. Jose Abad Santos B. Pedro Abad Santos C. Jose Lava D. Pedro Lava E. Luis Taro Mika. E. Luis Taro. Mali. Joseph. A. Jose Abad, Abad Santos. Siya isang mataas na opisyal ng pamahalaan ni Manuel Luis Quezon na nagdesisyon na manatili sa bansa sa panahon ng pananakop ng mga Hapones. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Jose Abad Santos K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Gigi. What well-known love team in Philippine cinema broke up at the end of November 2023 that showed the existing star system is still at work as the news went viral. A. Brian. Katniel po. Ibigay ko yung choices, ano? Para lang. JD in A, B, Don Bell, C, Katniel, D, Liskin, E, Dongyan. The concept of star system and the concept of fandom has been studied by social scientists in the field of media and communication, psychology and sociology, as it affects popular culture. The Katniel phenomenon is an example of this. The correct answer is C, Katniel. K-check. Science in Inventors. Who is said to be the father of the fluorescent lamp? A. Agapito Flores. B. Edmund Germer. C. Nikola Tesla. D. Benjamin Franklin. Or E. Thomas Edison. J. Letter E. Male. Joseph. A. Agapito Flores. Male. Mika. B. Taliwas sa maling akala at tinuturo minsan na si Agapito Flores ang father of the fluorescent lamp. Wala po kasi 40 years after i-discover ang fluorescence, pinanganak si Agapito Flores. Ito yung word na fluorescence galing sa name niya. So Benjamin Franklin sa lightning rod, uh, Thomas Edison light bulb. The correct answer is B, the German uh, physicist Edmund Germer. Prof. Neil. Yan, usapang etymology. Ano ang kahulugan ng salitang Latin na civitas na root word ng katagang civilization? A. Mataas na kultura. B. Pagyabong. C. Siyudad o paninirahan sa lungsod. D. Ugnayang publiko. E. Mamamayan. Mika. C. Siyudad. Alam natin na Western construct ang sibilisasyon. Kailangan merong matatayog na Gonzali, merong maunlad na sistema ng pagsulat. Sa Pilipinas, mas ginagamit natin ang katagang kabiasnan kasi mas inclusive at encompassing. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Siyudad. K-check. Prof. Gigi. Next question. Which painting technique is defined as thin, transparent layer of paint or ink. A. Dry brush. B. Cross hatch. 
C. Wash D. Smudging E. Stippling So, uh, this is defined as a thin, transparent layer of paint or ink. It is typically used in watercolor and acrylic painting techniques to create translucent effects or to build up layers of color gradually. Ito ang answer natin ay C. <laughs> Wash. Uh. Next question from Prof. Marian. Okay, ito naman ay usapang science, math, sa pelikula. Scientists and mathematicians are among the most interesting villains in some fiction movies, right? Who among the following fictional characters is a mathematician? A. Dr. Octopus B. Dr. Zola C. Professor James Moriarty D. Dr. Victor Frankenstein or E. None of the above Zola is from the Marvel Avengers Octopus is from Spider-Man at si Victor Frankenstein gumawa ng monster and ang pinakakalaban ni Sherlock Holmes ay mathematician Professor James Moriarty Thank you Prof. Neil, next question So usapang turismo sa anong probinsya ng Pilipinas ginaganap ang ginagyang festival? A. Aklan B. Antique C. Capiz D. Iloilo E. Negros Occidental Baka masikat yung ati-atihan diba? sa Kalibo Aklan o kaya sinulog sa Cebu. Okay? Yung dalawa ay tinatanghal rin nila si Santo Nino. Ganon din dito sa Dinagyang Festival. Sikat ang log ang probinsyang ito del gastronomic hub ito. Masarap ang batchoy sa probinsyang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Iloilo. Prof. Gigi, next question. Ito tungkol sa pagpipinta. Okay. Painter Jackson Pollock splashed his canvas with paint in abstract expressionist style. With what distinct techniques? Yun ang tanong ko. A. Glue and pasting B. Light and shade C. Relief with mixed media D. Action painting and drip technique E. Stencil and matting Mika. D. Action painting and drip technique So Jackson Pollock is famously known for this unique painting technique so, ang ginagawa niya, nagsasayaw pa siya, nagdi-drip-drip ng pintura. D is the correct answer. Okay, check ka na. Usapang cute. Which of the following animals are found only in Australia and are sometimes referred to as the cutest animals? A. Platypus B. Kangaroo C. Koala D. Wombat or E. Kuwaka. Joseph. Si Koala. Cute sila, pero mali. Mika. Di kangaroo. Cute din sila, pero mali pa din. Nung bubugbog daw. Ang mga stars natin, talagang... Naglalaro. Naglalaro talaga. Brian. Si Kuwaka. Okay, although lahat yun ay mga cute, but the one referred to as the cutest animal, kasi nakasmile parate, is the kuwaka. Okay, check! I-google ko yung kuwaka, ma'am. Cutest siya, pero never ko pa siyang nakikita, oh, oh. ah. <laughs> Prof. Neil. Iisip ko nga kung mas cute yung tarsier, eh. Pero hindi nagsasmile, di ba? Nandidilat yung ano, sir, tarsier. <laughs> tarsier. <laughs> okay, so huling tanong mula sa akin. Um, sina unang kasaysayang Pilipino? This practice of ancient Filipinos was aimed to keep alive 
the memory of their dead relatives by carving images made of stone, gold, or ivory. A. Anito, B. Diwata, C. Likha, D. Paganito, E. Bolol. Nika. Ibolol. Okay. Mali. Brian. A. Anito. Okay. Mali. Joseph. Uh, D. Paganito. Mali. Naku. <laughs> Likha. Likha. Okay. Tawag rin sa practice na ito ay paggawa ng larawan. Okay, yung Anito Spirits. Yung Bulol, mas nakikita natin sa Cordillera. Pero yung tanong ko kasi mas generic siya. So, ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Likha. Okay, check. So, this is our last, last set of question. questions. Yeah. So, the next one might determine who our actual daily champ will be. Kasi talagang... Very close. Very close. Okay. Joseph with 105, Mika with... 95? Pag si Mika ang nakasagot, siya ang mananalo. Kung si Joseph, sure winner. Mm. Or kung walang makasagot, Joseph pa rin. Okay. Prof. GG, go ahead. Alright. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Balik pelikula, mga anak. Okay. In the film, Bata Bata, paano ka ginawa? Who played the lead role of Lea Bustamante? A. Nora Honor B. Vilma Santos C. Jacqueline Jose. Joseph. B. Vilma Santos. This critically acclaimed actress performs as an OFW mother, Silea Bustamante, who came home to be with her children. She, however, encounters her dysfunctional family, disappointed and unwelcoming with her coming home. So the correct answer is B. Vilma Santos, K-Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations kay Joseph, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 135 points. We will see Joseph on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Congratulations, Congratulations Joseph. Congratulations, Joseph. And of course, thank you to Jane, to Mika, and to Brian. And to our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Once again, I am Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of K-Check. K -Check.